What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel to the first owner road to glory. Let's get into the 4231 updated custom tactics. But before we can do that, go ahead and hit the like and the subscribe button because it helps out the YouTube algorithm and it helps me out too. So this is the 4231. Right, I just want to make sure you guys can hear me. 4231. Uh, yeah, I know I'm playing. Uh, uh, Lampard it isn't my best team, but ignore my team. This is what I've been using in the elite division. This one and the 4-3-2-1 and like a 4-4-2. Uh, those have been my go-to formations as of lately. So they're tested. They're trial and tested. Everything's good with them. These are what I'm using. These are probably some of the best tactics there is. Uh, easiest formation to play with. It plays for you. Uh, you just have to be able to actually hold the ball, pass the ball around. Uh, make space and shoot this formation is really good to go up against uh, This formation right here Where is it four three two one? So it's really good to go up against this formation. It's really good to go up against Where is it four one two one two narrow this one and it's really good to go up against Where is it if I can find it? This one four triple two so if you find like you're struggling against those uh, any of those formations then this is your go-to formation, right? So tactics, there's going to be both old gen, new gen. If on new gen you want to change a few things, I'll let you know what it is. Uh, but yeah, we're going to go balance, 47 width, depth, 53. Balance, direct passing, 69 width. Players in the box, 6. Corners and free kicks, 1 and 1. So if you're on, this is both old gen, new gen. But if you're new gen and if you want to raise the debt, you can raise it up. You can raise it up anything above 55 to 60. No more than that because... You don't want to play too high up. This is a more of a balanced formation, more of a defensive formation. Uh, you don't want to be too aggressive with this formation. You just kind of want to be able to control the game. If you like more of a possession style of play, then this is your go-to. Uh, and I upped the width from 37 to 47 only because I was getting tired of people playing those cutbacks, running down the line and then doing cutbacks. I hate those goals so much. And in the elite division, that's all they do. They do cutbacks. They run down the line. With their Charzinos, Diabis, Alawarens, they run down the line and then they just cut back and pass it to Mbappe. It's stupid. So I upped the width to prevent those goals and so far has been helping me out. Uh, direct passing, chance creation. I do like four runs too, but for, for it to be a little bit more universal for everybody, I left it on direct passing. But if you like four runs, then you could always change it to four runs. I just kind of left it more universal for everybody. With 69, just keep it there. You want to you play more. Uh, wide in this formation just because it's normally a very narrow formation so with the width at 69 it lets your actual your right cam and your left cam play as actual wingers as right mid left mids and um, it helps you score cutback goals too since that's like the easiest way to score right uh, corners and free kicks do whatever you want on those I always go one and one because I don't like to get countered uh, goalie nothing on the goalie if you play a higher line like 55 or higher then you can switch this to Sweeper keeper comes for crosses, but for me, I'm not playing that much of a high line, so I leave it there. Two center backs stay back while tagging, that's it. Right back stay back, that's it. Left back stay back, that's it. I took off conservative interception since I am playing a, uh, uh, a higher width, I should say, in, in defense. So I want them to actually get a little bit more aggressive when they're defending those cutback runs. Uh, and I took off overlap because when they attack, I don't want them to make runs. To the attack, I just want to be able to attack with my my three cans, my one striker, my two center mids, right? <laughs> I'm sorry, my brain's a little fried today trying to get all this content for you guys, you know? So two center mids is going to be stay back while attacking cover center. No cut passing lanes. I want to manually mark. And there's this new thing that I've been trying out, which is called tight mark, which is kind of like a man mark, but not as aggressive. Does that make sense? So I've been kind of experimenting that, but for now I do base balance defense on those. Uh, cam, all balance. Um, normally I do like stay forward, but in the elite division, I feel like he, the cam is a little bit too isolated, especially when you're playing against a 4 one 2 one 2 narrow or somebody that has like one central CDM. As soon as you get the ball with him, he's right next to their CDM, and it's kind of hard to get out of that or hard to get out of the press, so I just left them as, as basic. So he drops a little bit deeper than normal. Right cam, come back on defense, get into box or cross. Same thing on the left, come back on defense, get into box or cross. And your striker, I have drift wide and getting behind. The reason why I have drift wide is because I want him to make runs anywhere. 
So like, let's say if I'm building up through the right side with like Rashford and I need to send him on a run, he'll run that way. If I'm building up to the left side with Lampard and Gomez, if I need to send him on the run, he'll run that way. Um, basically, he just creates space anywhere at the top. And when he does create space, your cam kind of fills in for, for him there. So make sure you get like a really good striker here or a really good cam right here that can actually dribble and shoot. That's really fast and pacey. So for me, I have Joe Cole right here. Uh, I'll go in and I'll go through the players that you have to use and then that's about it same thing as always every video if you watch any of my videos I always say get the most meta center backs as you can get uh, at least 80 pace or above anything lower than that you're just gonna get scored on at all times so try to get at least 80 pace and above center backs more physical type of center backs uh, right back left back doesn't really matter too much in this formation you don't have to spend all your cash on these just make sure that they're good they can carry the ball forward, bring the ball back, pass the ball. I got Tavernier and Joaquincello, but you can do anybody. You can do Nuno Tavares. You can do uh, uh, Trent Alexander-Arnold. You can do Singo. You can do you can do Davies. You can do almost anybody there. Just make sure you got <clears throat> good good left backs and right backs that can run back and forth. <clears throat> Your, excuse me. Your two center mids. Uh, make sure you get one box to box. So for me, that's Frank Lampard because I'm trying to complete his objective. And one more tankish center mid, somebody that can defend. Uh, like a Vieira, a destroyer. Like this Roy King is perfect there. Uh, if you can pair up anybody with Roy King right here, like a box to box right here on the left side. Like a Bellingham. Uh, a Bellingham. That Marquisio card will be phenomenal right there. Even Yaya Torre, Frank Lampard, anybody like that. Sit down would be amazing right there. Uh, try to have somebody there next to Roy Keane, preferably. I mean, he's he's not that expensive. I'll put him there. If not, if you got like for birthday Conte, use him there. Uh, cam, make sure he's not really a Cam. Make sure he's like a second striker or a winger, like a Neymar. And Bappe will be decent there too. Uh, Jarzinho, who else? Janola, players like that, trying to make sure they, they go there. Wingers, just trying to make sure you get fast wingers. Like they, I know it says that they're right cam and left cam. But they don't act like cams, they act like wingers. So just make sure you get fast pacing wingers. Uh, like Alouaren, Diaby. I got this Gomez card, which is really good if you completed him. Rashford, uh, Walcott, just anybody that's super fast. You can even put Mbappe there on the side. And then a striker, just make sure you get at least a four or five star week for striker. A Eusebio, a Ben Yedder, a Raspadori, somebody that can actually shoot with both feet. Uh, Michael Owen, they have affordable uh, icons right now. Even that team of the year, Hugo Sanchez, somebody that's really good, that's agile, that can finish the, that's that can finish the play, because they that is like your most important position right there, because they're the ones that are gonna be inside the box at all times trying to score. So, make sure you get your best striker there. And yep, that is it. That is the updated tactics. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed them. Hope you guys like them. Hope you guys try them out for the weekend league. Let me know if you guys like these formations or if you guys want to see any other formations down below. Uh, hit that like and that subscribe button. But I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.